thanks for joining me. Today, I wanna to make some homemade vanilla. Now, it's the end of March here, so making homemade vanilla is super easy, but it takes a good six, seven months, or a little bit longer, for it to become strong enough to use for your food, your drinks, your baking goods. And so, I wanna do this now so it will be ready for the holidays. So I ordered 20 vanilla beans off of eBay and a bottle of vodka. Um, I don't know much about vodka, but I thought it used to be stronger. I thought it used to be like 80 proof, but now I guess it's only 40 proof. Anyway, it's alcohol and that's what I need. So I just placed the 20 beans inside this bottle of vodka. Then I just put it under my cupboard Every month or so I give it a good shaking and then by the holidays it is ready. And so this is what I have left over. Just look at the color. It is so dark, so rich, and it absolutely does not taste like the stuff you buy in the store. So the smell is amazing and it's super easy. So you just buy the vodka, get your vanilla beans. I used um, Madagascar vanilla beans and I got grade A. There's all different kinds. Even if you use grade B, it's okay because those are used for extract. So it's a great project. And then when it gets cold out and the holidays are coming, I just buy little bottles off of eBay and fill them up and it is an excellent gift. And they look so pretty in baskets because I like to do my you know, canned goods, my preserves in baskets. So I hope you enjoyed it. It's super easy. If you have any questions, leave them below. God bless you and your family and stay tuned. I purchased my elderberry from NIBA Herbs. It's pure elderberry powder. I bought it on eBay and it's eight ounces. Elderberry has been a, a medicine for generations. Our grandparents used elderberry, elderberry wine. They made elderberry throat lozenges. Basically, they would mix it with alcohol or with hot water. And if they didn't feel good before they went to bed at night, they would just drink it, drink, um, you know, a couple of tablespoons or put some in their tea before they went to bed. It has wonderful healing properties. It's full of antioxidants, but the one thing that it's really known for is to reduce swelling and inflammation, which when, if you have a cold, something like that, it's really helpful for your sinuses and your throat left over that wouldn't fit when I put all the beans in. So I have taken some dehydrated elderberry, one heaping teaspoon, and I'm putting it in a tincture bottle and let it turn into a tincture. Probably another two months I will wait. Just stir it, leave it in my cupboard. In less than 10 minutes, you've got homemade vanilla being made. You have your, la your leftover from the last batch. And now we are making some elderberry syrup. Look how beautiful that color is for being just put in this bottom. So I'm just gonna shake it up, put it in the cupboard. And when I shake the vanilla, I'll shake the elderberry. I hope you enjoy. It's good to have in the house. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. So I just wanted to do an update on the elderberry syrup, the tincture, and I just took it out to shake it. Look at the color. It's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So elderberry is used to remove inflammation. It also has a lot of antioxidants. Now, in my grandma's day, they would boil water, 
add a couple of teaspoons of elderberry tincture with um, a tablespoon of honey and they would sweat it out and in the morning you feel so much better because the inflammation is gone so your sinuses can breathe your throat feels better your ears aren't clogged up so I hope you give it a try it was it's really easy and it's super good to have on hand and I made it because when I put the vanilla beans in the bottle of vodka I had extra vodka so I don't drink so I used it to make a tincture. So there you have it. And there's the color now. Now, by the time the holidays come around, this will be a very dark brown and beautiful and nothing like you taste in the store. So I hope you give it a try and thanks for watching. So there it is. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And I look forward to your comments. And if there's anything you would like to see, please leave a comment below.